The cow or Surah al-Baqarah Arabic Swart al the cow is the second and longest chapter surah of the Quran. It consists of 286 verses, 6201 words and 25500 letters. It is a Medinite surah, that is to say that it was revealed at Medina after the Hijra, with the exception of a few verses which Muslims believe was revealed during the farewell pilgrimage, the last Hajj of Muhammad. This is the longest surah in the Quran. It was the first surah to be revealed at Medina, but different verses were revealed at different times, covering quite a long period so much so that the verses with regard to riba interest or usury were revealed in the final days of Muhammad, after the conquest of Makkah Verse 281 in Surah Baqarah was the last verse of the Quran to be revealed, on the 10th of Dhul al-Hijjah 10 a.h., when Muhammad was in the course of performing his last hajj, and only 80 or 90 days later he died Surah al-Baqarah enjoins fasting on the believer during the month of Ramadan. Background It is the longest surah in the Quran and was revealed over a long period. It is a Madiniyite surah dealing with the hypocrite and injunctions pertaining to various matters. It includes many verses which have virtues like the first four and last three verses and the special verse of the throne Muhammad is reported to have said, Do not turn your houses into graves. Verily, Satan does not enter the house where Surat al-Baqarah is recited, Muslim, Tirmidhi, Musnad Ahmed. Ad Darimi also recorded that Ash Shah Bai said that Abdullah bin Mas Ud said, Whoever recites ten ayat from Surat al Baqarah in a night, then Shaitan will not enter his house that night. These ten ayat are four from the beginning, ayat al Kursi, the following two ayat, and the last three ayat. <laughs> Theme and subject matter The surah addresses a wide variety of topics, including substantial amounts of law, and retells stories of Adam, Ibrahim and Musa. A major theme is guidance, urging the pagans al and the Jews of Medina to embrace Islam, and warning them and the hypocrites of the fate God had visited in the past on those who failed to heed his call. The stories in this chapter are told to help the reader understand the theological conception of truth in Islam. Surah Baqarah also mentions three qualities of the God fearing that is, those who possess taqwa. 1. They believe in the unseen. Faith is believing and accepting something one cannot see i.e. trusting in Muhammad and the Quran. It is believing everything which is part of Aman, the angels, destiny etc. Too, they establish prayer salah. The major sign of a person with taqwa is they perform prayer salah. Establishing salah is fulfilling its requirements, internally with feelings in the heart, and externally fulfilling its requirements wudu, compulsory elements wahibat, sunnas, reciting with tajweed etc. and feeling a connection with Allah. In a tradition or hadith, Muhammad said, prayer is the miraj of a mu'min and in miraj he spoke to Allah. In the surah preceding Surah al-Baqarah, i.e. Surah Fatiha Muslims are believed to have a dialogue with Allah. Three, they spend from what Allah has given them, as this is a form of worship too namely, considered a financial worship. Spending in the way of God i.e. giving sadaqah, is to spend from what Muslims believe that Allah himself gave them. Sadiqa comes from sidq, which means true, as it shows the truth of a Muslim's aman faith. Verses 8 to 20 in Surah Al-Baqarah refer to the munafiqin, the hypocrites. In the Meccan phase of Muhammad, there were existed two groups: the believers and the mushrikeen, non-believers. However, after Hijra emigration to Medina, Muhammad had to deal with the opposition of those who openly accepted Islam while secretly plotting against Muslims. Their leader was Abdullah ibn Ubay who was about to be crowned king before the arrival of Muhammad in Medina. The hypocrites benefited from the Muslims while not losing their association with the disbelievers. They were considered disloyal to either parties and inclined towards those who benefited them the most in the worldly sense. The surah also sheds light on the concept of nifak, which is opposite of sincerity. It is of two types. 1. Nifak in belief, outwardly showing belief however in reality there is no belief 2. Nifak in practice, where people believe however they act like hypocrites. The signs of a hypocrite are lying, breaking promises, not keeping an amana or trust and when they argue they curse or use bad language. 
According to a prominent scholar, Kamaluddin Ahmed, nifak is something that is within the heart, hence no one knows of its existence except Allah. Therefore, no one can be called a hypocrite or munafiq through one's own self-assessment. This would amount to making takfir i.e. calling someone a kafir non-believer since nifak hypocrisy in belief is kufr. Condemnation of alcoholic beverages and gambling is also first found in the chapter, and it is one of only four chapters in the Quran to refer to Christians as Nazarenes instead of the more frequent terms people of the book or helpers of Christ. Al-Baqarah contains several verses dealing with the subject of warfare. Verses 2 to 190 minus 194 are quoted on the nature of battle in Islam. The surah includes a few Islamic rules related to varying subjects, such as, prayers, fasting, striving on the path of God, the pilgrimage to Mecca, the change of the direction of prayer from Jerusalem to Mecca, marriage and divorce, commerce, debt, and a great many of the ordinances concerning interest or usury. Notable verses Verse 255 is, the throne verse. Eight al kursi ayatu el kursi. It is the most famous verse of the Quran and is widely memorized and displayed in the Islamic world due to its emphatic description of God's omnipotence in Islam. Verse 256 is one of the most quoted verses in the Quran. It famously notes that, There is no compulsion in religion. Two other verses, 285 and 286, are sometimes considered part of the throne verse. Topic: Exegesis. Concerning the verse, they are deaf, dumb, and blind, so they return not. 218. Jafar al Sadiq has narrated that there is destruction for the servants of falsehood, and there will be deafness, blindness, and muteness, which Allah will make them inherit of the day of judgment. They will not be speaking and will not have permission to present their excuses. It is mentioned in Kitab al-Kafi that Imam Jafar al-Sadiq narrates that on the Day of Judgment, one dirham will weigh as much as the mountain of Uhud, because, "...one who generously lends to God will be paid back in many multiples of the loan." 2 and this was a special reference to the payment made to an imam. See also Ayatul Kursi References External links The Cow, a manuscript, dating from the 13th century, of the Al Baqarah via the World Digital Library, Quranic Verses, a manuscript for Al Baqarah from the 13th century.